Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Mr. Prakash? Yes, sir. See, today we have reserved this board. <coughs> okay? Okay, sir. What is the exact problem? Uh, Here, mm. Acer motherboard, model number is Z8G. Okay, hmm? sir. Z8G. Yes, right. Okay? Mm. The main problem is mm. display appear and disappears okay. continuously. Okay. When it switch, uh, switch on, mm. it shows all the things. Okay. When password uh, thing will come, no, that time only cursor will show and uh, what the background is there, it goes and appears. Okay. It goes and appears. Okay. That is the major problem here. Yes, okay. Mm. So in this case, mm. first <coughs> we need not to check the impedance of this particular board. Yes, sir. You know the reason? Oh, reason is that. See, main thing is it's switching on. Switching on. Okay, it means all voltages will be okay. Okay, sir. First we randomly will check the voltage. Random check in okay. the in multimeters, mm. then we come to know what exactly the problem. Okay. okay. Say first, I will switch it on. Say connect. Uh, mm. I am connecting to DC. DC jack. Yes. Okay. I am switching on. Okay. Sir. Now. Okay. Now it's switched on. See here. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now it started. Yes, yes. Okay. Now. We will check the voltages. Okay, sir. Normally, red probe will mm. be positive and uh, black one will be negative. Negative. Okay? So, positive in the sense, it's a coil voltage. Okay, sir. Coil, it's a 1.2 volts, it's mm. a RAM voltage. Mm. And here, 3.3 volts. Yes, sir. Step down. Mm. 5.1 volts, step okay, down. Sir. Okay, sir. Okay, this 5 and this 3. These two are very, very important. Mm. Okay, here. 1.2 volts. This is the RAM voltage actually. Okay. Here also 1.2. Okay. Let me check what uh, according to the schematic. Okay. Okay. So now here this coil is also good. Mm. This coil also good. See, we are getting some voltages mm. variation. Mm. So according to the processor, this particular coil voltage will be vary. Okay. okay. See 1.2 up to 1.8 we can get it. Hmm? So yes, okay. this also good. This is better section. Only need to check. See here one coil we are getting the voltage. Here also one coil we are getting the voltage. Okay. Here also one coil we are getting the voltage. Okay. Here here so here it's 1.2. Hmm. So here. 3.3 here 5.1 okay sir. see <coughs> it's working perfectly that's right but then also we are getting some problem problem okay in this situation mm. if you use this multimeter there will be no use you no. can't identify the problem exact problem exact problem this so, uh, using the dso so mm. we need to mm. use the dso right sir. okay mm. by dso we, we can check okay. Now I am connecting to DSO. Mm. So first I will switch it on. Mm. Okay, I switch it on. Mm. So I am connecting to DSO. Mm. So through the DSO you can observe here mm. what are the voltage we are getting. Mm. So I'll switch. Mm. Connected. Mm. These two coils are very very important. Okay. Okay. So three volts and five volts. Yes. Hmm? Sir. I can I will check only three volts and five volts. Right, sir. Other, mm. uh, other than that voltage will be okay. First we need to these are basic voltages. Okay. okay. See here. Auto mode. Mm. This, this is the output section. Mm. Okay. In the output side, what it shows detected unknown signal on channel 1. Okay. It means some waveforms we are getting here. Mm. Okay, see, this is actually 3.3 volts. Here, one message we got 
डिटेक्टेड अननोन वे फॉर्म इट मीन्स सम ग्लीचेस आर कमिंग एयर सम अनवॉन्टेड वोल्टेजेस आर कमिंग एयर एयर इट शुड बी कॉन्स्टेंट डायरेक्ट थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वोल्टेज ओके वन सेकेंड आल चेक सी डिटेक्ट डायरेक्ट करेंट नौ बट समाइम्स डिटेक्ट अननोन सिग्नल ओके सर here it's constant voltage we are not getting not getting this is the one major part okay okay second one 5.1 5.1 volts mm. this coil detect direct current okay one time we check again mm. we can check mm. okay detect okay. unknown Direct current sometimes. Mm. Direct current. This is direct current. Okay. Mm. One or two, three times we need to check. Mm. So again, three point three volts. I'm checking here. Mm. Detect unknown signal. Okay, sir. Okay. Again, I'll show you. Detect unknown signal in 3.3 volts. Once again, 5.1 volts. I'll check. Mm. Detect direct current. So here, direct current we are mm. getting. Detect direct current. So 5.5 volts. Oh, sorry, 5.1 volts is okay. There is no issue in that. But when we are checking in 3.1 volts, there we are getting some messages. Yes, sir. Detect unknown signal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Will you see? Mm. It should be direct. Okay, sir. I do one thing. Yeah. <coughs> I will check. Other uh, motherboards also, okay. Mm. One or two motherboards I'll check. Mm. Only five, three section. Mm? Okay, sir. Now I'm disconnecting this. Keep it aside. I'll take one board. Okay. This is Lenovo board. I'll give supply. Mm. This is what uh, model number? Tell me, sir. I'll tell you. स्विचिंग Switch it on. Okay. Okay. Now we will check three volts and five volts. Okay. Yes, sir. In DSO. Mm. See in DSO, what are the changes we are getting? Mm. Detect direct current level. Yes. Sir. Once again, <coughs> detect direct current level. Okay. I'll remove this. See mm. here. I remove. Once again, I am checking. Okay. Detect direct current. Okay. Sir. How many times you can check if motherboard is good, then you will get 5.1 volts direct current. Okay. Sir. Okay. And here 3.3 volts. Mm. This coil, cut mode. Mm. Direct current okay, level. Right. And channel one. This is channel one. Okay. Sir. And again. Direct current level. That's right. Okay, this motherboard is good, mm -hmm. so it's giving accurate result of uh, step down uh, voltages, 3.3 volts and 5 volts. 5 volts. Yeah. Okay. So once again I remove here. Once again I'll check. What is the result? Direct current. Yes. Okay. So here I can suspect 3.3 volts section having some issue in this particular motherboard. Okay. <coughs> Generally, when I check in DSO, then I come to know the some waveforms are uh, appearing in uh, 3.3 volt section. Mm, okay. okay. 
So once again I will check. Mm. See, we confirmed through other motherboard, this 3.3 and 5 volt sections should give direct current output section I am taking about. And here, this is the 3.3 volts and this is 5.1 volts section. This coil is the output section and here output section. We can check once again what is the result we are getting here. Hmm? See, auto. Oh, sorry, I have not switched on. <coughs> See, I am switching on. Okay, it started. See the platform? Mm, that's right. So many distortions are there. Okay. See, detect unknown signal here. No. Yes, sir. <coughs> detect unknown signal once again. Hmm? Yes, sir. Once again, I'll check. Uh, remove and that's it. That unknown signal. Okay, that's okay. That we can leave it. See, yeah, hmm. this is the hmm. bias chip. Okay, yes, sir. bias pin number eight. Hmm. That what voltage will be there? That we can check it here. Hmm. That's 1.8 voltage. Hmm. So that one I'm checking here. See, detect unknown signal. Okay. Pin number eight is the 1.8 direct voltage. You should not give any alternative voltage. In this section also, we are getting unknown signal. Okay. Okay. So Prakash, here <coughs> why I am showing this multiple times hmm. for service. In case of higher, in advanced case of service, hmm. we need DSO. Okay. Sir. Without DSO, we can't confirm the problem. Okay, sir. Hmm? In multimeter, we can check the voltage, voltage level will be good. That's so, then we will think what is good and where is the problem. We scratch our head and uh, we will waste the time. So, here 100% we come to know 3.3 .3 section having some issue. Okay, sir. Okay, come here. Once again, I will check that input section. For that input, it's a 90.3 volts, uh, right. 90.5 volts, what okay. is the V in section, that also I will show you. Okay. That's good or not, that I don't know. Where okay. exactly the problem, that also we can check it out. Okay. Now I am switching on. Switch it on. Okay. See, now I am checking V in section. See in multimeter. Auto. Detect direct current level. Okay. Okay, here it's 19.7 volts. Okay. Detect direct current. Once again, I remove. See here. Again, I'll keep the probe on red wire. Detect direct current. Okay, 17 point. See the position. Almost it's straight line. Right. So here V in section is good. Okay. So what we are getting output of 3.3 volts that has some issue. Okay. Okay. If you search this circuit, hmm. so then we come to know exactly where is the problem. Okay. So this is uh, one of the advanced level services. Okay. Sir. Why I am telling it's advanced level because it required DSO. Yes. By the DSO only we come to know exactly where is the problem. Okay. Sir. So that's why it's called it's advanced level. Right, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.